Today is uh, Aksusha Balgu Nature Reserve for me. Established in 1926, it's Central Asia's oldest. I'm taking a mandatory tour uh, out from Shabalgi village. And this village is uh, two hours by a uh, bus from uh, Shimkent, plus an extra half hour in taxi the last bit to the village. The big thing to do here is the canyon, Aksu Canyon, 30 kilometers long and three to 500 meters deep. It's a, a very big thing in uh, this very flat, generally flat area of Central Asia. But uh, with the canyon is really great and uh, spectacular. What I come for today is the flowers, the flowering. On the canyon rim in uh, spring, there is an amazing uh, flowering and uh, the trip along the crater rim in a small minibus really gets you the chance to soak it all in. You have endless plains at the foot of the mountains which are filled with uh, flowering flowers and green grass. It's uh, a beautiful sight. We follow a truck along the canyon rim which really enables us to soak in the flowerings and some of the view as well. And do some stops in strategically chosen places. The star of the show in the spring in this area are the tulips. And here we enter the area where the Greg tulips are flowering in dense uh, population or huge uh, areas. Both on this uh, journey and on earlier journeys I have seen many amazing flowerings. Uh, I remember in particular the flowering in uh, Armenia when I did the uh, hiking there. But this is uh, really ranking high up there. I, I truly recommend this for everybody. The minivan uh, allows us to soak it in uh, slowly in uh, good comfort and we do some stop for photo and uh, close up enjoyment. Here comes the Kaufman tulip, another star of the show. A very beautiful flower as well, equally beautiful, but they grow in smaller areas, smaller colonies, so they are a bit more discreet. But uh, when you find it, it's so beautiful. Lunch time, I travel with Cossacks and that means inevitably a lot of food. I was friendly forced fed so much food that I almost had to beg for mercy. Wild apples are native to this area. Actually wild apples are suspected to come from this area originally. In Kazakhstan we have the city Almaty. Alma means apple and Almaty means the city of apple, apple trees. I get good dinners at my guest house in the village. And in the guest house garden, I'm treated for free to a fantastic uh, bird concert. The small, uh, funny feather balls were making its own for hours after hours after hours, basically until dark.
Oslo Balgi Village itself is a true backwater of 2,000, 2000 plus souls, a farming agriculture community. It's not that far away from uh, civilization, to put it that way, but uh, you have a feeling that you are very far away from everything. It's safe, it's friendly, it's tranquil, it's silent, and nothing ever happens here, I guess. But from a traveler's point of view, it's interesting because it is workaday, everyday Kazakhstan. It is how a lot of Kazakh people live. So I enjoy strolling around watching this village. It's not a place I would go to for itself, but when I'm here anyway, it's uh, nice to stroll around and see. And it is a typical Kazakh village with uh, some uh, pre-Soviet, some post-Soviet and some Soviet influences in it.